this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the new Aaron cell, which is in the 3LR1000 unit. I've had a lot of requests to have a better look at it, a close-up. And a few people want to purchase just the cell itself because either they don't have the money or they would just want the cell to do their own experiments. So I've decided to sell it for $100, which is not bad, plus $10 shipping anywhere in the United States continental. Also, I'm showing you exactly how it's constructed. It's really simplistic. The only thing that you have to know is that each one of those stainless steel plates has a tap in it or has been tapped. So there's about two or three threads in each one. That screw isn't just going through them, it's actually screwed through them. Those plates can be turned around. Right now it's alternate every other plate. But we could have two plates on one side or three plates on one side. As you can see, it fits nice and neat there. All the plates are stainless steel, 3 inch by 6 inch. If you take this unit and put it in water, put 12 volt battery, then you've got yourself a lot of hydrogen coming up. You've seen this one work. It works really well. This is the unit that's in the 3LR1000. The reason I decided to video this was because this is one of the units that is being tested out before it's mailed. The unit's really practical. As you can see, the caddy on it which keeps your hands away from the stainless steel. The stainless steel here is 0 0.028, which is pretty thick, but it still can cut your hands. I'm giving you the best view I can. This is going to be the cell I'm working with on the bench. As I've mentioned before, I'm getting ready to set up an engine on the bench with the 3LR1000 so I can do the checks inside rather than out. There's a good view of the back. What that is is a screw that goes in and out against the inside of 3LR1000. If you want to see more views of this, you can go to the hydrogentaptap.com. We're going to be doing more testing on the neutral plate system. I've had one particular email that finally got my attention. I'll be using this